Hey y'all and welcome to Peyton's Place. Here on Peyton's Place, I'm going to tell you about life as a young adult, all things college, and we'll talk about activism as well. Before we get started, I want to make sure that you all subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We are at 304 subscribers. So shout out to y'all. We'll be at a thousand by the end of the year. So make sure um, you all subscribe. If you haven't already, like, comment, share the video. On this episode, I'm going to be telling you all, uh, all the questions that you should ask when you are searching for apartments. You all seem to like the apartment hunt that I did here in Dallas. So I showed you all apartments and now I want to tell y'all exactly what you should ask when you're going on these tours. Because we want to make sure that these people don't play y'all okay i'm gonna tell y'all everything that the apartment search people told us and the people who um showed us the apartments as well told us so when y'all go in there you'll know exactly what to ask let's get started Okay, so the first question that you need to ask is what all is included in the rent? We want to make sure that there are no hidden fees and they're not trying to play y'all. So some things that can be included are like utilities or is there a washer and dryer included or do you have a connection and you have to provide a washer and dryer? Sometimes um, places will have uh, contracts with places where they can give you a washer and dryer and they will add it monthly to your your rent um also are there things that are included or extra things that you have to pay for like some people have valet trash uh so one thing you can either ask is what's all included in the rent or uh, what are the additional fees that aren't included in the rent because you want to know that that price that they're giving you nine times out of ten that's like just the rent so that's not what you're paying every month you also are going to have to pay things on top of that so you want to mentally know like okay this is the rent plus this so this is what i would pay a month so you could budget accordingly the second question is um and there's no like specific order for this but another good question is are there any current specials so a lot of times i know here in dallas specifically uh if you work with different apartment hunters they'll they'll have specific specials like one of the places we went to um because they work directly with this apartment hunter group uh when you apply they give you your application fee and your um your apple your application fee back and i think you're your like down payment to hold it as well don't quote me but basically they give you your application feedback which is like a few hundred like i think it was like 200 dollars, 175 dollars. so because they work with these certain people they give you that back some people have like first three months rent free or um this much off of your rent if you sign within this time frame so ask if there are any specials because sometimes those aren't things that they're going to advertise but um, if you ask, then they do have to tell you. And a lot of times it depends on when you're searching as well to know if you um, to know if there are different specials that are going on. Because fifty dollars off your rent that'll save you over time. And we all know how the prices of everything are going up. So ask about them specials. The next thing I would say is how long can they hold a vacant unit? So, for instance, um, when we were looking, um, we weren't trying to like, obviously, we weren't moving in right away. So it was like a later move in date. Um, so you need to ask them like, OK, if it's April and I'm not trying to move until June, you know, that's, you know, whenever your lease is up or whatever. How long can you hold this unit for me? Because a lot of times places aren't going to hold units for over like usually i've heard i think for the most of the places i heard anywhere from a week to a month and the month was like kind of rare i think typically average is like two weeks maybe um but you do want to know how long they will hold a unit for you because then it's like if you're looking and you can't move in until two months later it doesn't really make sense for you to pay that money to um, fill out the application and do all of those type of things so you need to know how long they will hold a unit for you also um something going along with that is how many units are available for your move-in date within your price range so they know like you know when people are moving in when people are moving out so they could tell you like okay this unit is available now 
but when you're trying to move in this is the unit that's going to be available and so to mentally know okay like there's four units that are in my price range that'll be available when i'm trying to move so then you can kind of come back closer to that time and then apply um so that's important to know too because if they're like oh we don't have any units that'll be available during the time that you're trying to move it's no point in even like looking and touring the place honestly because you're just wasting your time if they won't have what you're looking for during that time that you're looking for it next um so here in texas we have to buy our own energy and there's like hundreds of energy companies so coming from wisconsin there's like two energy companies and i really only know of one um so like everyone has the same energy it doesn't really fluctuate but here in texas you have to uh you can like you shop for energy almost so one of the things we had asked was do they have any recommendations for like energy companies or also renters insurance so a lot of um depending on where you are or like some apartment places have um deals with the the um you know the insurance company so that you can get cheaper renters insurance if you also go with this company um and energy i don't really i haven't really heard any like connections with energy you just gotta find your own energy if you in texas um but it's always good to ask like you know what do most people most people in the building have you know what do most people pay on average sometimes they will know those things so i will ask about um insurance uh renters insurance and also energy that they would recommend as well um another thing so once you're ready to apply or if you are ready to move in right away uh asking what the application process looks like so what's the price the different um the different places we went to had different application prices so one of the places was like i think 50 and then one was like 150 so like it really depends um but you want to know like how much you're going to have to come out of pocket to even prepare to move and a lot of times these are fees that you're not getting back so you need to know like what the process is how much the application is um security deposit how much you need to put down a lot of times people are like you know you got to put down first month's rent so then on top of the 150 you got to be ready to put down you know i feel like on average one bedrooms are about 1400 right now so you got to be ready to put down that as well so just asking questions that are going to lay out everything so there aren't any hidden fees or anything that's happening that you're not expecting um with the application process something else that i think all apartments do is a, a credit check so um you also want to ask if this is a hard or soft credit check soft credit check meaning that it isn't something that like can negatively impact your credit score hard credit checks you know the more inquiries you have um that isn't you know good or beneficial for your credit i ain't the credit guru so i'm not gonna go into details about that but you want to know if it's a hard or soft credit check so then if it is a hard credit check you're not going through the application process unless this is the place you really want to live in because you don't want to apply for five different properties and three of them are hard credit checks and you have three hard credit checks on your credit score and you don't even end up living at one of those places so knowing exactly what it is that you're um getting into as well as far as the whole application fee and then um something else you want to ask is about income so is there an income requirement some places require that is uh the rent that you make three times the rent um so just like asking these things up front because once again you don't want to go through with the whole application process if you don't even check all the boxes already so then you know you can always try but um just knowing these things uh ahead of time are going to be very helpful and the last thing i want to say that you should ask about is parking so is there um underground parking cover parking parking garage what does parking look like for your guests so a lot of places um the open parking was free but then covered parking is extra monthly so um or in the case where i live we have a parking garage and they have like reserve spots but and those are like an extra like 35 a month i think but the spots that aren't reserved um are free and like 
you know knock on wood but I, I have always been able to find a spot and I've lived here almost a year now so you want to know um what does parking look like where where can your guests park are they parking on the street do they have to register their vehicle if they want to stay a little bit longer what does that look like um some people have parking garages so like what's the process of getting one do you need to get on a wait list um how much is it going to cost how big is it how many cars can fit in it things like that so those are the top things that i would say um you should look for when you are or ask in general when you're looking for apartments you know don't let these people get y'all watch this video and write down all these things i said and make sure you ask them when you are looking for apartments because it's hard out here y'all i know so <laughs> don't go in there cold turkey and they like do you have any questions and you say no uh uh, don't let them people get y'all. Ask them these questions and make sure y'all are at a place that you really like and you know exactly what it is that you're getting. You know what you're paying for. You don't want any hidden fees. So, I want to thank y'all for tuning into this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I want to remind y'all as well to like comment and subscribe and hit that little bell as well turn on your post notifications so you never miss an episode i told y'all i'm coming with the content so weekly episodes i'm telling y'all now so y'all can hold me accountable for it i will be posting every week um i have a lot of life updates to tell y'all and just all kind of stuff to talk about if there's something specifically that y'all are a little more interested in comment below and let me know what y'all want me to talk about but until then i'll see you next time on peyton's place